to share with you guys these coin envelopes I've been making using my envelope punch board, which I absolutely love. Um, so I've been making all different sizes of these little coin envelopes using this. And even this teeny tiny one, which I will give you the dimensions on when we're done because this is smaller than what's on the board. But I was just going to make one, so I thought I would... Um, bring you guys along if you want to learn how to make these. They're really super simple. Um, and I really like using these for um, little gift bags or, you know, little gift pouches. I made these um, earrings to give to a girlfriend of mine. So they're just really cute for stuff like that. So this size here is for a 3x4 card. Um, so the envelope is just a tiny bit bigger than that, but you're going to go ahead and use the dimensions for the 3x4 card size. And that is a 6x6 six six piece of paper. And we're going to go ahead and punch out and score the piece of paper just like you were for a, would for a regular envelope. So um, the marking is 2 and 5 eighths. So I am going to line it up at 2 and 5 eighths. And I guess this is assuming that you're a little bit familiar with the punch board, but um, if you don't have one of these, I, I highly recommend them. They make amazing envelopes super quick. I mean, I have the Martha Stewart scoreboard, but this is like one-eighth the time. You have everything all ready to go for your envelope. Um, you do not need to round any of the corners because we're going to cut some of the edges off to make it look a little bit more like a coin envelope. And that's what I'm going to do next. And so I cut off 7 eighths of an inch from both of the small flaps. And I just line that up. So bear with me for a second. That should be good. And do the same thing on the other side. And then the only other thing we need to do is fix this overlap. So you want it to have a bit of a straight edge here. And all I do is mark it right at where the V meets. And then I'm just going to cut that piece off with my trimmer and just line up my markings. And then we're going to tape it together and you have your coin envelope. One other trick is when you're going to tape this flap down, you want to put the tape on this piece um, because these little edges will overlap this and stick to the inside of your envelope. So what I do is I take my pencil again and I mark just underneath where that line is and then I put my tape across here just inside those marks and I cut off the edges so that nothing sticks to the inside of the envelope. Just like that. And then I'm just going to run a piece of tape oops, along the bottom here. Okay. 
And then what I do is I take my small hole punch and I make several, I make six little circles. And these I already have inked up, but these two are just single layered and then I take um, two of them and back them so that those are going to be the two buttons so that they're a little thicker and a little bit more sturdy. So this, this one I already backed one to the other and this one I'm going to do now and I just do that by adhering with a little bit of quick dry glue. And then I just ink around the edges. Oh, see, I can't do things on camera. I forgot to ink my envelope. Ugh. Okay, so normally, before I taped it, I would go around and ink all the edges. Yeah, yeah. But I forgot. So we'll just do what we can. I love these finger daubers. They were on sale the other day at Joann's and I bought a whole slew of them because I, I use them so much. There we go. Okay, that didn't come out too bad. And then what I do next is I take my little crocodile and take the smaller hole punch and I put a hole right in the middle of the upper flap and then I also put one I go all the way in as far as I can and try and center it as best I can. You could totally do this um, more accurately <laughs> um, but that works for me at the time I line it up and then I also put a hole in my little double-sided pieces. For the buttons. And then these extra two pieces I'm going to use just to cover up the back of the brads. And so I'm going to put my brad in there. This part can be a little bit tricky, but just have to get your hand in there and open up the brad. Once I do, I push it down. Do the top one. I hope I'm in frame, you guys. Like that. And then these, I just, like I said, use to cover up the brad on the inside. Oh, this is a. Uh... Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. I also put one on the inside so that the. Whatever you're putting in there doesn't get hung up on the brad. But this brad I'm going to actually use, it has really long tails on it. I'm going to use my. It is very helpful to put the one over the brad inside there. But I'm going to get my little cutters. Oh, by the way, I was at Michael's yesterday. Today is November 25th. And I don't know, um, I was um, needing some nice jewelry pliers and things. And the Martha Stewart pliers were 70% off. I think they're no longer going to carry them. So I got them for, they were $2.99 and they're really nice pliers. 
And then I had an extra 25% off coupon, so I got them for like $2.25. My store only, I got, um, I got, I, see, we'll just put that over there. I bought two different ones. One was like just the needle nose pliers and the other ones were to bend wires. Um, and then they had one extra pair of needle nose, but if anybody is looking for those. And then I just kind of bend up these sides just a little bit so that when I put the thread on, and this is like heavyweight cotton thread. This is actually, I bought this. This is one of the things I bought when I was at the flea market in Paris. Um, it says made in France, but it's like, um, it feels like really wiry thread. It's perfect for these envelopes, but anything will do. And so I just tie this on here. And cut off this one little piece. And then I go around three times. That. Nobody important. It was a service call. Um, and so there is your envelope. I love these. And then you know you can put your little gift in there or goodie or um, card or these are great for gift cards. Um, I think I'm, I'll show you guys a couple I made for gift cards, but let me give you, so you can do this with any size of the envelopes on the punch board, but this little tiny one, I think this is two by three. It fits a two by three card and I, I did have to make up my own dimensions for that. Um, so for a two by three, you need a four and a half by four and a half piece of paper and you mark at one and seven eighths of an inch and then do the same thing with the cutting off the extra pieces. So let me just grab a couple of the other ones I made. I made them for gift cards. Um, so I made this one, and this one for the little, um, these are actually pieces of ribbon that I, um, it had uh, circles on the ribbon with little um, bees on it, so I cut it out and just sealed the edges with a lighter, and then I just, this is just a piece of covered chipboard, and then I make a little pocket here for the gift card to go in there. So these make really great little um, gift card holders. I think this was the first one I made. So that's all. So I hope you guys find that helpful. These are like super addictive or maybe it's just me. <laughs> but um, I could sit here and make them all day. So if you guys have any questions, um, let me know. Otherwise, I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.